Hey, what's up, guys? MGH here. Welcome back to the Arsenal career mode on FIFA 21. Today, we have a debut for Lima. We signed him in the last episode. I've decided not to go with Ceballos this season. And that doesn't mean that I'm definitely never going with Ceballos again. Maybe next season I will change my mind again. You will never, ever know until we get there. So right now, Lima's come in. He looks incredible. We're currently converting him to a centre mid because that's the position I want him to play most of the time. We also made another signing, which has gone a bit under the radar because it's not as exciting, I guess. But we have brought in a new left back. Mittelstadt is in as a backup to Tierney. Of course, we sold Kolasinac at the beginning of the season. So it's good to get him in, even though you can't see him right now. He's just hidden behind my camera box. Uh, Genduzi's come back from his loan, 81 rated. So he's definitely going to get some game time this season, that's for sure. Now, Saka. Up to 81 rated as well. Very, very difficult because I don't know his best position anymore. It's such an annoying thing to have, but a great thing to have. He's a player that can play in a multitude of positions. I am still considering converting him to a centre midfielder. And therefore, I would have Genduzi and Saka when Xhaka has gone. I, I don't know if I'm going to be keeping Xhaka for too much longer. Look, look, the thing is, he's so good in real life. You know, he's a really good midfielder. But in FIFA, because he's slow, you're just relying on his passing, which is great, by the way. His passing is really good. But I think at some point, you know, especially the fact that he is 28 now, by season three, season four, we will be looking to upgrade that position. He has reached 81 and that is it. He cannot grow any more. So the idea would be to have Genduzi, Saka, and then a different winger here. So I think I'm going to stick with Saka right now as a winger, but we will still continue his development as a central midfielder. We're improving his defending and his shooting, things like that. Uh, on the reserves, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything other than selling players. We still have quite a few to sell. Uh, I Is that seven players? Yeah, we, we need to sell seven players. I don't think I'm going to get them all gone. But uh, the first part of this episode is the debut for Lima. We're up against Brentford. They've just come up into the Premier League and we're going to give them a reality check. And there he is, the new number eight. I've seen quite a few comments, people saying that maybe I should be giving the number 10 to Martinelli instead of Awa. Let me know in the comments down below of this video who gets number 10, Awa or Martinelli. I think Lima will stick with the 20, uh, not 20, with the 8. I was going to say 28. He's definitely not number 28. But here we go, guys. First game of the Premier League season here at the Emirates Stadium. Let's give it straight to Lima. Here he is, my brand new signing. He's going to be absolutely incredible. Oh, my God. The CPU just crossed it. I can't believe I just saw that. <laughs> here we go on the break. Here is Awa into Bamiyang. Pepe. Back in the action after his injury. Can he get back to scoring straight away? Finish it. Of course he can. It's Pepe. And it's his right foot as well. What a start to the game. He was so open on that right side. It was always going to end in one result. And that was a goal. Look how much space he had. No idea who the defender is. Tried to catch up. He just couldn't. And then a nice little right foot finesse shot into the far corner. And we are 1-0 up already. I do have some other transfer targets on my shortlist. I will be showing you guys those after this game. Ah, you see, I'm going to be honest, guys. Alwar as a number 10 just looks a bit wrong. I don't think Lima suits number 8 either. I think I'm going to have to switch them. I think Alwar should be number 8. Number 10 can go to Martinelli. Speaking of which, he's in here. Left foot shot, which is saved. By a transfer target of mine, Raya, the Brentford goalkeeper. He was linked with an Arsenal move, so I'm going to, I'm going to look at signing him as well, maybe. With Lima, maybe he'd go back to his old number, which he had at RB Leipzig, which I think was 20-something, maybe 27. Let's test out a shot with him. Ooh, okay. Not the most accurate shot, but still. Getting involved going forward. I don't want him to be just a defensive player. I will be training his attacking stats. I want him to be an all-rounder, box-to-box into the second half here. Awa. Aubameyang. Lima. Keep going on the left side here. Oh, didn't have a run. It's all right. We'll pass it over to the left side. I do like him. I really do. I might change his boots, though. I'm not sure about the black boots. Come on, Bellerin. Where was the overlap? He just stood there. Cross coming in for Pepe. It's never going to make it. Go on, Partey. 
Nice. Here's Lima. Onto that left side. Here is Martinelli. Dink it in for Aubameyang. Oh, that was a lot closer that time. Good start to the second half here. Oh, that's a nice bit of play from Brentford here. The shot comes in and Leno has to save it. For some reason, they've just taken him off. Why, why would you take him off? You guys need a goal. Why are you taking off one of your best players? I think he's top scorer in the championship right now in real life. Why would they take him off? I don't know. Oh, Pepe. Okay, this could be good. Just use that pace. Oh, my God. I've been... Oh, we've got it. And and Aubameyang's open. Come on, Aubameyang. And, of course, he finds the back of the net. I was just about to complain that I've been playing way too many squad battle games. It's so different, especially because I play on slow in career mode. The game speed is on slow just because I prefer it. But going between these game modes is not helping me. This is a fantastic finish, though. He's under a little bit of pressure, but not really. And last year's uh, record goal scorer, top goal scorer, record breaking 35, I think it was in the end, maybe 36. He's off to a great start this year as well. A goal and an assist so far. I think I should probably make some changes now. Uh, I'm going to keep Lima on. I want to keep him. Let's bring Genduzi in instead. Um, I'm going to bring in Saka on the right for Pepe, who's only just come back from injury. And you know what, right? Enketia. I need to play him more. Here's Enketia now. Over to Martinelli. Oh, that's going to be a yellow card. It might even be a red. Mafio, what a signing, by the way. It is a yellow card for him. The ex-Man City right back, who I don't think even played a game, maybe. <laughs> no idea. They've just taken him off as well. Get out. Right. Let's give this to Tierney and over to Genduzi. It's great to have him back. And good to just give away the ball. Nice one, Matt. It's okay. We got it back. I think Genduzi will be important for me this season. Let's see if we can give it back to him here. All right. On the left side for Tierney. Into Martinelli. Through for Nketiah maybe. Nope, Martinelli still got it. Over to Lima. On his debut. Scores! On his debut. Lima, welcome to London. What a signing this guy is going to be. Just the ultimate box-to-box -box midfielder. Once his shooting is even better, he will be scoring a lot of goals. One goal for Lima. One game for Lima. That is what we want to see. We don't need to see it again. There it is. 88 minutes in was that. It's game over already, but 3-0. Clean sheet. Come on. Hold on to it. And there we have it. Great. What a start to the season. I think Brentford are going to struggle. Defensively, they were pretty bad today. So, perfect start. A debut goal for Lima. Genduzi making his second debut for Arsenal after his loan at AC Milan. Yeah, three goals, three points. Can't really ask for better. Why did you leave Maitland-Niles out? Oh, come on. We just won 3-0. Why are we talking about this? Uh, the team has to come first. It's true. Next question. An emphatic win, of course. What can you take away from it? Uh, concentration. You can only beat what's in front of you. I mean, it's not the most exciting answer, but we're going to go with that. And then, was that a game you always felt in control of? Absolutely. Um... We deserved our goals today. Right, well, Maitland-Niles doesn't seem too happy right now, so maybe we should get him playing. Let's go ahead and sort out a few things, though. So, as I said, I wanted to change Lima's boots. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. We've got so many players, haven't we? We really do need to sell a couple of players to make some space. So I'm going to give him white. I think that'll look a lot better. And then we're going to go into the squad hub here and do the numbers. You guys let me know if you want me to change any of them back. But I think I'm going to go with uh, Lima. I can't remember what number he was. So just for now, before I go and check, I'll give him 21. Um, 21. <laughs> Genduzi with 18. That's what he's going to keep. Alwa is going to get number 8. And then Martinelli. The future of Arsenal Football Club. Number 10. He deserves it. And he's going to have that number 10 shirt after Meza Ozil carried it for so long. Right, let me find out what number Lima had. It is number 27. I guessed it right. So Mavropanos will be losing his number 27 shirt. What do we give Mavropanos? It doesn't really matter. But I believe we have a few available. We could go with 26, 29... 
Uh, let me think about this. 21 isn't bad. 20 is available now that Mustafi's gone, of course. 17, 11, and nothing else is available. Do you know what? I'm going to give him number 20. Actually, no, I'm not. What if I sign someone, and like a striker? They could get 20, couldn't they? I'm going to give Mavropanos 21. That's fine. Right, so what I'm going to do is show you my transfer hub. These are the players I'm looking at right now. So one of the tasks, one of the objectives I've got is to sign a veteran player. Now, I don't know for sure what age a veteran has to be. I'm just guessing it's 30 or more. So I'm thinking we need to find a couple of 30-year-olds that maybe fit the bill. We've got Ben Yedda. I mean, technically, I could maybe sell Lacazette and bring in Ben Yedda. Why not? We've got Lucas Vasquez, big fan of his, Real Madrid player. Not probably good enough to start as many games as he would at Arsenal, at Real Madrid, of course. So maybe we could look into signing him. The problem with him would be his wage. It would be a lot of money. But, of course, very quick player. We're scouting all of these guys, so we'll find out soon enough. We've also got Willy Bolly. Now, the reason I'm looking at him is because we, we all know I need potentially to bring in another centre-back. Maybe Bolly is a really good shout. I don't know what rating he is. I'm guessing it's kind of like the high 70s. He's just a monster of a player. So maybe we could look at signing him. We've got Lewis Dunk. Now, this would not be to complete the veteran objective because I don't think 29 is old enough. Not the most exciting centre-back, but someone that was linked with Arsenal. Who knows? We've also got Klosterman. Now, Klosterman is one of the most overpowered players in FIFA 21. Of course, German player. Arsenal have always signed German players for a, a long time now. And I feel like he would be incredible. Is it realistic? I don't know. He's already moved from RB Leipzig to Sevilla. You could use him as a right back, of course. But I would definitely utilise him as a centre back. We've also got Baumgartel from PSV. Also a German player. He would not be a player that goes into the first team. He would be a future signing. Although at 25, he's not that young anymore. You know, Klosterman's 25. And also, as a goalkeeping option, we have Raya. Basically because, well, we were linked with him in real life. Bit disappointed he doesn't have a real face. That would have been nice. Um, but I do feel like potentially at some point I will need to bring in a new goalkeeper. I don't think Renarsson is quite what we need. But I, I don't think I need to do that just yet. Basically, I need to sign a veteran and a centre-back. Whether I go with Bolly or not to cover both those things... I don't know. I think I need to wait for a scout report on all of these guys and then we can look into it a bit more in detail. But that's what I'm thinking right now. We have a loan offer for Smith Rowe and it's Leicester. We're definitely going to go ahead and accept that. He's still not quite at the level I'm looking for right now. He's got a few players ahead of him in his position. So we're going to go ahead and accept that. Leicester is the perfect team for that. I'm still waiting for transfer offers to come in. Just getting nothing. That loan deal is the only thing I've had in quite some time. We've got a transfer offer for Alwa. Oh my god. 123.1 million pounds for Alwa. That is ridiculous. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Blocked. No chance. You couldn't pay me 300 million for him because I'm not into that. I don't want to have a crazy amount of money available to buy Mbappe. I want Awa. I want him. So he's staying. He's not going anywhere. You'll have to find a different target, Barcelona. Um, Lewis Dunk has a scout report. We'll wait until we get all the others first. Maitland Niles says, I've been playing well lately. I'm feeling really good. I hope that means I won't just be on the bench against Manchester United. Um... I mean, it doesn't hurt, does it? Maybe I could go with three at the back. Bellerin's been really good for me, but maybe I should just give Maitland-Niles a go. I'm just going to do it. We're going to go with a straight swap. Maitland-Niles at right back. You know, if we compare stats with Bellerin, of course, Bellerin's a little bit quicker and he will be better at defending, even though in real life I disagree. <laughs> Physically, he's a little bit better. But going forward, Maitland-Niles is actually... I would say the better choice. He's got better shooting, better passing. His dribbling's the same. And he is 78 rated compared to 85. We've got such a good backup option there in Maitland-Niles. Is he 23? Yeah. So he's still young as well. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Uh, Lima will start again. Partey, Alwa, Martinelli, Aubameyang and Pepe. We need Pepe's match sharpness to go up. He's only got 11. So I will make sure we get him into training. Same with Partey, really. He's only at 58. Okay, is there anything else I want to do? 
and Ketty is now up to 74. That is good to see. I think this is fine. Manchester United is going to be a tough game, but uh, I'm feeling up for it. There is Fernandez. He looks so good in FIFA 21. The face scan, the tattoos, love it. But it's a bit of a gloomy day here at the Emirates. Not the nicest weather, but of course, who cares? We're going for the three points. You've seen the team, it's strong. We've got the updated shirt numbers, boots for Lima as well. I'm hoping he can have another really strong performance. And of course, Maitland-Niles getting his chance today. He needs a clean sheet, otherwise maybe Bellerin should stay in. Bellerin will stay in, don't worry, that's not changing. Oh my God, Wambasaka is so strong. But Martinelli almost got that. Actually, it's a throw for us. I wasn't expecting that. Let's lay that one off for Tierney. Edge of the box. Oh, Pogba just stepped in the way there as I was passing it to Lima, I think it was, and I would have gone for a shot, for sure. This season is all about being better defensively. I've got to improve my defence. That was my problem last season, just conceding way too many goals. I'm going to be more patient. I don't need to dive into tackles. I can just shift my body around here. Just jockey them and then go in with a tackle when I see it's ready. Why didn't I keep that though? That is so frustrating. I made such a good tackle and then the game punishes you for making that tackle. There we go. That's how we do it. Right, Saliba can bring this forward. Aubameyang into Pepe. Not a great pass. Oh, I should have given it back. Here we go. Into Alwa. This is good. He's not very strong though. Pogba. Fantastic midfield work from him. But Martinelli's got it back. Into Aubameyang, to Alwa, back to Aubameyang, no, nope. and it's blocked by the slab head. Jesus, Rashford just absolutely destroyed Maitland-Niles there. But Saliba, <laughs> he means business, getting his leg twisted around Rashford there. Oh no, Immobile, decent shot but covered, and then Leno has to make the save. Rashford's too quick. Oh, my God. Rashford is too quick. Could not keep up with him there. And Manchester United take the lead at the Emirates. At least Lingard is a free agent. He's not here to Millie rock and dance. That was just such a good ball into Rashford. There's only so much you can do defensively. Sometimes you just have to say to yourself, well played, because that's exactly what happened there. The killer pass into Rashford just did me. Go on, Martinelli. Nice, here goes the new number 10. He's got pressure on his back. Go on, shoot. Oh! <laughs> I say he's got the pressure of wearing the number 10 shirt, but he doesn't care. It is one all, and this is a superb effort on his weak foot. Just kept running. He is going to be superb. Special player, Martinelli. I've got to get him a run of games. I've got to get him into this first team more and more. Why sign a new winger when you've got someone like Martinelli or even Saka, Nelson? I've got so many great young players at this club. I do not need to make a ton of signings. This is so much more fun. I'm just relying on the guys I've already got here with a couple of changes here and there. Lima being one of them, and that was incredible from him. I'm going to play it on the right there into Pepe. Back to Aubameyang. No! Bad choice from me there. I shouldn't have done that. But that is half time. And we go in at the break, one all, which seems fair, to be honest. Man United at times were very good. I'm absolutely loving Lima. Really, really like him. And I've just given away the ball. Oh my god, Madison's gone to Juventus. Wow. What a move that is for him. Incredible. Right, we need to be careful here. Yes, TNE. Into Alwa. Through for Martinelli. In behind. Pepe's making his run. Back post. Can we pick him out? Yes, we can. But the first touch, I whipped it in so hard, he just could not control it. Even a player of his quality couldn't do it. Oh, Awa. Yes, come on. Lima will get the assist and Awa scores again. This guy is continuing his amazing form from the end of last season where he was scoring pretty much every game. And he's began this season brilliantly. Look at this. Just a little reverse ball. Maguire in the middle of nowhere. And it's a lovely finish. Oh, 2-1 up. I'm going to make a change now. Again, I'm going to be bringing in Genduzi. 
But do you know what? I am going to take out Lima. I'm going to bring in Genduzzi on that right side. I'm also going to bring in Saka for Martinelli, who's had a fantastic game. And I'm also going to bring in Bellerin for Maitland-Niles. Look, I did my job. I brought in a player who really wants to play, but now the real right back comes back on because, yeah, I mean, Ainsley Maitland-Niles has been fine, but um, I think we all, we all know that Bellerin is my go-to right back. Here's Genduzzi now. Into Aubameyang, who's dropped deep. Back into Genduzzi. I like him in the number 18 shirt. It suits him. And that's a great ball to Tierney. I'm just going to float one into the box. Go on. Oh, my God, Aubameyang. How have you missed that? I think it's hit his chin. <laughs> I don't know how he's missed that. We've got 15 minutes left to go here. That would have killed the game off. Van der Beek is coming off, and they are bringing on that weird player I've never heard of, Supriaga or something. He's definitely a striker, so they've gone from having a, a more packed central midfield to having another striker. That's a hell of a ball. Oh, my God. Come on, do not concede. Yes, Bellerin. Brilliant tackle. Just a few minutes to go here. That Supriaga guy was um, scoring a lot of goals for them towards the end of the last season. I, I remember seeing his name pop up a lot. And uh, I'm guessing he's just a superb young player that they found somewhere. Some sort of regen, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to have a look. I forgot to check last time. But I'm just wasting the last few moments here, guys. We want the perfect start. No. I want two wins from two. Why am I trying to make things harder for myself? Here's Maguire. Loads of space for Rashford once again. This is it. Last attack. Yes, Saliba. Superb tackle. And that is a win against one of our rivals, we take it. 2-1. No clean sheet, but another great performance from our players. Lima, again, getting involved going forward. You love to see it. Maitland-Niles was very happy to play. No worries, man. Great performance. And just like that, he's happy. Love it. Right, Smith Rowe has been loaned out. And we have an offer for Sheaf. Huddersfield are willing to pay two and a quarter million. We will accept it. Please do just take him. We have so many young players still here at the club. And talking of which, there is one player that um, I, I want to keep, but I think I'm going to loan out again. And that is Mavropanos, because if I am bringing in another centre-back, we've already got Pablo Mari on the reserves and Mavropanos. I don't think we're going to use Mavropanos. So I think I'm better off loaning him again. And whilst we're here, we're going to check some contracts because I know a lot of them will be running out. So with Mavropanos, I'm going to offer him a new deal because I do see him as a player for the future. He might be really, really good for us. He's very quick, surprisingly quick. So he's on 38,000 roughly. Let's go ahead and offer him 40 to 60. Will he take it? Yes, 46 and a half and added two years. So he is here to stay. Who else is running out of their contract? Let's have a look. Let's go up to the top here. So we've got Lacazette, Elneny, Nelson. Okay, maybe we should be offering him a new one and Willock, to be fair. And Nketiah. A lot of the Hale End Academy products are po uh, potentially and possibly leaving, so we can't allow that to happen. Elneny, I think I probably will... Mm, maybe I should give them all contracts and then I can sell them. You know, Lacazette's still worth a lot of money. So he's on 115k. Let's offer him 115 to 140. And there you go. He will just extend. That is good. I really wish they would fix this. It's so annoying having to scroll up again. So he's on 54. Let's offer him 55. A nice round number then. Uh, let's go to 75. Okay, he's going to extend by a year as well. Then scroll back up. So Nelson's going to want a chunk more. He's on 35. I'm going to be nice here and offer him 45, similar to Mavropanos. And I won't go more than 75. Okay, brilliant. Three years rotation. That's good. I'm making good progress here. We've also got... Willock up next. I think they should all be on roughly the same, to be honest. I'll try 40. Try and save a little bit. And go up to 70k. Same again. Three years. And then the last one, of course, is going to be Nketiah. I've already... Oh, no. It's holding as well. I'll do Nketiah next. He is the future. We need to get him signed up. So we'll go with 40k. 
and up to 60 or 75 that's fine oh okay he wanted a little bit more 54,000. that's fine we can do that he clearly knows that we need him at some point and then holding a player that I'm not really using at the moment, but he is on the bench as my uh, backup centre-back. I think he's the one we're replacing, technically, you know, if we bring in someone else. He's on 44, so he is a better player. I'm going to offer him 55. I'm being fair here and up to 85. And he's going to take it on rotation and a two-year extension. Done. Everyone has more than a year left on their contract, which is perfect. Just making sure that Pepe and Partey are in training, and there they are. So let's go ahead and sim that. Three A's, of course. Remember, make sure you do every single training drill at least once when you play career mode. Try and get a C or more so you can constantly simulate it and get the same results. Still waiting for some... Um, ooh, interesting. Still waiting for offers to come in, really. We've got an offer here for Willian, and they're offering Gilfie Sigurdsson. No, he's 78 rated, so he's not even that good. That is such a rubbish deal. Block. We're not selling Willian. I've still got use in him. Interest in Dunk, though, and it looks like Leon are offering 16.5 million. For Dunk, that's actually a very decent deal. I think he's about 78, 79 rated, something like that. Yep, 79. So it's not a bad deal. But uh, I'm going to drop Dunk. I don't think I want to sign him. I've also just noticed, guys, Baumgartel has moved. He's gone to Torino. So we can't sign him. He's off the list. So now that leaves us with Bolly and Klosterman. I know you guys will be saying, why would you not sign Klosterman? But do you know what? I want to go with Bolly. I want to sign Willy Bolly. I think he will be a great player for us. It's kind of like the David Louise deal. Like, yeah, he's he's getting on a bit, but he brings experience. He's a bit of a unit. He's a veteran player, I'm hoping, because then it would give us the objective, although it might not even work. There are bugs in the objectives. So I'm going to go with Willy Bolly. I'm not going to be signing Klosterman because if I sign him, he has to start. He has to go in ahead of Saliba, who I absolutely adore. He's getting better and better. So I'm, I'm doing it. I'm going with Bolly. I don't know how much it's going to cost us, but I'm just going to go in and do it right now. I don't need to wait. We've obviously got a lot of money. Please ignore that. I do not need to be spending that kind of money. What I'm going to do is offer a player swap for one of the players that I do not want at the club. So we've got Smith and Sheaf. Um, Sheaf is already leaving, potentially. Don't think uh, Matt Smith is going to bring any value to this. We've got Trey Coyle. Oh, we could do Osir Tutu. He could actually be quite good for Wolves. So I'm going to offer him. I literally have no idea what to pay here. How much would Willy Bolly be worth in real life? 15 million? Something like that? I'm going to go in with a solid 8 and see what they say. I'm sure they're going to say we want... 15. And ooh, they want Mavropanos. That's interesting. So they are valuing Willy Bolly at around 20 to 22 million pounds based off this negotiation. Now, I'm not interested in giving them Mavropanos. I genuinely think he could be very good for us. I'm investing in Mavropanos's future. Okay, so I'm going to propose a different player. We have Tyrese, uh, we have, do we have a centre-back? Olawu and Zach Medley. There you go. That makes a bit more sense. Okay, so Zach Medley. Did I just call him Zach? I don't know. Propose a new transfer offer. We're going to have to go up a decent amount here. Let's go to 13.5. They can have the 5% sell-on clause because we're probably not going to sell him. He's probably going to retire here. So let's submit the offer. Is that going to be enough? No, but they are willing to just do cash. Okay, let's remove the sell-on clause and let's go for... I said 15. Will they do it? 15 million for Willy Bolly. Great player. Superb for Wolves. Is it going to happen? Yes, it is. Okay, right. We've made some good progress here. Now, the tough thing to do is offer him a contract when I have no idea how much money he wants. I'm impatient. I just want to get the deal done. So I'm going to assume he's on around 50, 60,000 at Wolves. And to be fair to him, if I'm offering Willock, 
Saka, no, not Saka, um, Nelson, you know, around that 40 to 50,000. He deserves more than that. So, oh, he wants important. Uh, rotation, please. Will you take rotation? No. Important it is. Okay. He will be an important player, but he's not going to play every game. So he might get a little bit upset at that. Length of contract. We're going to go with a two-year deal because he is 30 years old. And he's happy with that. And then we're going to go with no release clause. I'm going to offer him £60,000 per week. And I'm also going to give him a healthy 250 k up front to sign this deal. I don't know if I'm way off here. Or if I'm paying too much. Oh, I was close. Very close. All right, so let's get rid of the bonus appearances. We don't care about that. I'm going to bring this to 65 and 350. I reckon he'll accept it. Come on, Willy Bolly. You're joining Arsenal Football Club. He's done it. Get in there. That is one of the strangest signings I've ever done. But do you know what, guys? This is a different career mode. This isn't one of those crazy signings that can potentially ruin a series because it's just so unrealistic. We were linked with Bolly. Lots of clubs have been linked with him over the years because he's such a consistent defender. But we have signed him. We have a new centre-back. Mavropanos will be loaned out. What rating is he? 80. That is amazing. Now, the question is, does this count as a veteran signing? I really hope so because he is a veteran. He's 30 years old. Let's have a look in my objectives. Has it happened? No. Uh, maybe a veteran is 32 onwards, 34. I, I don't know. It should tell you. What is a veteran player? To me, like, even someone who's 28, he could have played at 10 different clubs by then. He's a veteran. He's played at so many clubs. It needs to tell you exactly what to do. That's so annoying. But do you know what? I don't care. Bolly is still a great player to have. Now, he normally wears the number 15, and I kind of want to give that to him. Because Maitland-Niles could have a new number. Uh, the other numbers I've got are 17, 20. Should I be going with 20? Uh, mm, it just feels a bit wrong to me, number 20. But you know what? I'm going to give him number 15. Let's give Maitland-Niles a new number to suit what he does. And that is playing as a right back. Number 24 is not available. Oh, Reese Nelson could get 17 and Maitland Niles gets 24. Done deal. It is done. Love it. Welcome to the club, Bolly. Number 15, 30 years old, but he's going to bring us some experience, some strength. If Saliba or Gabrielle don't play, Bolly comes in. <laughs> we just signed a big willy. <laughs> I can't wait to say that every episode. Sheaf. Sold. Gone. 1.7 million. Nice. Can we get a few more offers for other players, please? We still haven't sold a lot of them. And there is a loan offer for Mavropanos as soon as I ask for some offers coming in. They want a two-year loan. No, we're not doing two years. I might want him. So instead of just doing that... Oh my god, this glitch is stupid. Hello, twin brother. If, um, if we want to recall him, of course we can. But I'd rather do... A one-year loan and then loan him out again if I want. But he'll be 24 and I think he'll be ready to stay then. So they're going with a one-year. That's fine. I would like them to pay 50%. Let's be fair. Come on. Good. Right. Mavropanos will be going to Portugal to play for Braga. So once he's gone, we only have Oluwu, Medley, John Jules, Coyle, Smith and Ossia Tutu to sell. And then the bench will be, well, and the reserves will be Runason, or Runarsson, sorry, Mari, Bolly, Mittelstadt, Lacazette, Nelson, Willock, El Nenny, and Ketia, Willian, and Saka, holding Maitland Niles, Xhaka, and Genduzi. The question is should Bolly be on the bench instead of holding? I think he probably should. Stats wise, yeah, he's, he's just better. He's a better player. So we'll go ahead and do that. Holding is on the reserves, and Bolly comes in on the bench. And that's going to be it for this episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been an interesting one. Lima with an incredible start to his career at Arsenal. We still have Mittelstadt yet to make his debut, which I think he'll do in the Carabao Cup. And we signed a big willy. 
We've got Willy Bolly in our ranks. He is a veteran player, but apparently not a veteran player. Hopefully, he will be a great signing for us. He, he should be better than David Luiz, technically, uh, who, of course, we let go of. So we've kind of replaced David Luiz with Willy Bolly. Experienced French. No, he's not a French international. Has he ever played for the international team? Probably not, to be fair, which is a bit of a shame. But he's here. Really excited to give him a go. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure you follow me over on Facebook Gaming for my live streams. We're streaming tonight at 8 p.m. We're doing Among Us. We're doing Pro Clubs, maybe some more squad battles. The link is the top link in the description. You can go ahead and just follow that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and I will see you on Monday at 6 p.m. for another episode because all of my career mode videos are going to be 6 p.m. on weekdays. That's the new schedule.